When thinking about building a massive library, what are the different pieces that come to mind? Books are delivered from publishers, sorted in the back room, and finally arranged neatly on shelves for readers. A data warehouse functions similarly, acting as the library of an organization's data. Let's explore how its core components work together to organize and present data in meaningful ways. At the heart of every data warehouse lies a structured architecture designed to ensure smooth data flow. There are three main layers to this architecture, the source layer, the staging layer, and the presentation layer. Think of them as a pipeline connecting raw data to actionable insights. Let's look at each one in more detail, starting with the source layer. This is where data originates. Sources could include transactional databases, CRM systems, or even IoT devices. Data can come from numerous sources and in varied formats, like CSV, JSON, or Parquet. Picture this as the publishers delivering books to the library. It's the starting point. Next comes the staging layer. This is where the data gets processed. The staging area is like the library's back room where books are unpacked, sorted, and labeled before reaching the shelves. In data terms, this involves cleaning, transforming, and organizing data through processes like ETL, extract, transform, load, or ELT, extract, load, transform. And finally, the presentation layer. This is the part where books arrive on the shelves that you see in libraries, or in more general data terms, the reporting layer. In data systems, users access the final data in dashboards, reports, and analyses. In several modern architectures, tools like Tableau and Power BI are used to build the final presentation layer where raw data becomes actionable intelligence. The most important step in taking data from its raw form to the presentation layer, where it derives most meaning, is the ETL process. You've probably heard the terms ETL and ELT before. These are the engines driving the warehouse pipeline, but there is a minor implementation difference between the two. In an ETL, or Extract, Transform, Load process, Data is extracted, cleaned, and structured before it's stored in the warehouse. This is great when you need control over how data is transformed. ELT, or Extract, Load, Transform, on the other hand, flips the order, loading raw data first and transforming it later within the warehouse. ELT works well with modern cloud warehouses that handle large-scale transformations efficiently. The complete processing step, whether ETL or ELT, happens in the staging layer of the data pipeline. Think of the staging area as a preparation zone. Data is cleansed and organized before it moves into specific areas tailored for distinct end-user needs. For instance, data required by the sales team might move into a different destination than data that's needed by the accounting team. These separate pockets of final data are data marts. You can think of data marts like a specialized section in a library, one for science, another for history. Each mart focuses on a different subject or department, such as sales or finance, making it easier for users to find relevant insights. Now, since data warehouses store massive amounts of data, Sometimes in the petabyte scale, it's often hard to find key pieces of information quickly. To ease the process of finding the right information faster, data warehouses use metadata. Ever noticed how library books have a catalog system? Metadata plays a similar role in a data warehouse, providing information about the data, like its source, format, and when it was last updated. Without metadata, Navigating a data warehouse would be like searching for a book in an unorganized library without any labels. Some examples of commonly used metadata are structural and descriptive metadata. Structural metadata describes the organization and relationships within the data, like file formats, schemas, and data sources. Descriptive metadata provides information about the content of the data, 
like titles, authors, or subjects for books. So, we've uncovered the building blocks of a data warehouse. The three-tier architecture, ETL, ELT processes, and the critical roles of staging areas, data marts, and metadata. With these components working in harmony, data warehouses transform chaotic data into clear, actionable insights. Next time, we'll dive deeper into how these components interact within different types of data warehouse designs.